smart investigator, Shahi, 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 on Showtime City on the Hill. Does everybody botch your name? Well, my, you know, my real last name is actually Jahansu Shahi. I've been called Jahansu every Sash. Uh, Jahansu Shahi. Jahansu Shahi. You might hurt yourself, but um, I've been called every name in the book. So I'll take Shahi, Shahi, Shahu, no. Shaha, Waha, Wahu. I don't know. Did you ever keep your original name? Like try to roll with it in Hollywood? Or? Oh, just see. God no. I mean, <laughs> you know what? But it's not until I got older that I started kind of appreciation appreciating like the uqueness of it and yeah. now I kind of wish I would have stayed with ah ah who was my real name oh yeah I'm really not who I pretend to oh, be oh I like ah who takes off from that but um um yeah and you know I grew up in Texas and so growing up in a place where everyone's named you know Ann Smith you know right. it's like I just got ridiculed endlessly but ah who I love that thank you thank you how do you spell that a A H O O. My husband says it's like awful trying to whisper my name because it, there's so many vowels. Like you can't. He's like, there's no consonants. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like it, <laughs> trying to keep, but trying to keep it, it hot. Just you know what like, I'm it just sounds like breath. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but so we were just talking in our, in our last block. We were talking about keeping it spicy. I disagree with her. You do. I'm so sorry. I completely okay, disagree but, with but, her. So what? God bless her. She's so cute. I mean, first of all, I want. I want relationship, I want sex advice from someone like Dr. Ruth or, you know, someone not, maybe not quite a hundred, but like a little <laughs> bit younger and like, who's like been through some stuff. I'm sorry, but she's got four kids under four. Are you kidding me? I have three children. I have a 10 year old and I'm not upset about it, by the way. <laughs> what say? What uh, say? Can we bring Chad back out here? We, we, we got some more tips. I got, <laughs> yeah, my kids are my kids. And, and, but it's like, you know, as women especially, it's like, it's hard to, she's got four kids under four and God love him. I'm sure he's an amazing man, but I guarantee you she does more than him because as women, that's just naturally it happens. I'm not trying to make anybody wrong, but it just kind of happens and it's great. And um, so she's tired. Yeah. So that whole thing about like, you know, learning each other's triggers and whatever turns you on, it's like bull. Mm. So what do you think? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just need a good foot rub. Sometimes you need dad to do the daycare drop off. Sometimes you need dad to make you dinner. Sometimes, you know what I mean? It's like, and if you, and that kind of stuff, you know, especially as women with children, it's like, that's attractive. Mm -hmm. You know, like, hey baby, go put on some heels and lingerie since you've been up with four kids under the age of four since four o'clock this morning. No way. <laughs> well, you no, posted the best you. thing on your father's day. Talk about your Instagram from Father's Day and talking about oh. what's so sexy. Your husband is very sexy, by the way. Yes, he is. And what you posted about him, though, I found extremely sexy about picking up the slack when you go back for a new show or do whatever, yeah. that he just falls into that role. That's the thing, too, right? And, and look, Steve and I, we've been together for 18 years. You know, there's a special place in heaven for us because we've already been to hell. <laughs> and so, like, like, I'm sorry, but like, you know, we, and it's a partnership. You know, and it's like, and especially when you have kids and you have to be able to rely on the other person. Mm -hmm. And and when I went off to New York to go play, you know, Cops and Rabas, I, I really relied on him and he picked up the slack in a way that he never had and it was really necessary for us and our relationship and, and he did wonderfully, you know, and, but that's hot. But he's, he's getting but laid as tonight. it should but be, also, right? But the key to that is communicating that, right? It's not just assuming and waiting for the partner to get it and learn yes, it and know yes. it, but saying, hey, uh, could use some help over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. And every once in a while, a strap on doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why, why, why should I be the only one that takes? Sometimes I want to get You know, on that note, bring in the tequila. Oh, tequila! <laughs> it's Sarah's favorite. God bless my publicist. Gina's looking at me. We, got we just started working with each other. She's shaking her head. Wait, she's, got, like, well, she's like, oh no. We're in know. it. We got to tell Sarah what she is. What is her new title? GG. GG. Great G -G. guest. City on a Hill airs Sunday Guys, night at nine no, on Showtime. You said this was your favorite guilty pleasure or I your snack? I mean, yeah, I did. I didn't mean. <laughs> you well, guess what? Actually do it. Guess what? All right, man. I'm from Texas. Bottoms up. Here Bottoms we go. up. Here we go. All right. All right. It's three o'clock somewhere. Two, three. Oh my oh. God. Oh, it's just a. Hello. We all saw that. I know. Was I on camera? I know. But look at the couch. We got like these water. two cuties over I, here. I didn't want to drink tequila with them. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.
Thanks.